In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated gradient background right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got a brand new composition created, we're first just going to begin by creating a new layer. So we'll go layer, new, solid. We'll change the color of this solid from white to black. Make sure that is black. And then you can rename this to background press OK on this layer and then from here we're just going to go into the effects and presets tab on the right and if you can't see the effects and presets tab for some reason you just want to go up into the windows and then select effects and presets make sure there is a tick next to the effects and presets setting right here so with that selected you just want to go into effects and presets and then we're just going to scroll down and we're going to search for four-way color gradient or if you just search for gradient, that will come up with four color gradients. And then you just want to drag that onto your black video. Then as you can see, we've now got this gradient created. So you've got our four colors here. We've got the upper left, which is 0.1. We've got the upper right, which is 0.2. Lower left is 0.3 and lower right is 0.4. So as you can see, we've got these four markers here and this represents the center of this color. So if I move this more towards the center, you can see the entire color moves over. The same thing for all of these other individual controls as well. So feel free to move these wherever you want them and then go into the four color gradient effect on the effect controls tab on the left. We'll go into point one, color one, we'll select that yellow box and we'll change that to a color of your choice. So we'll select a blue. Then we'll go down to color two. We'll create, we'll select another color. So let's go for a dark blue purple here. Point three, color three, we'll select another color. So let's lean this more into pinky purples. And then color four, we'll do a really dark blue here. So as you can see, we've got this gradient created. The problem is though, at the moment, it still does look like there's four different spots of light and color created. So if we go down into blend and we increase the blending, you can see that's just going to turn into a nice gradient rather than having these harsh center points here. So if you increase this all the way up, I'm going to go up to around 250. As you can see, we're starting to get this really nice blended animated background. Next up, we've got jitter and doing that doesn't really affect anything at this stage. And then, of course, you've got opacity. So as we all know, opacity is just how much you can see this. So if this is a zero, it's completely transparent and then 100, it's completely solid. And then anywhere in between, you're going to get a mixture of the background behind this layer. So we'll keep this at 100 for now. And then we're just going to move on to the animation phase of this process. So make sure your cursor is at the very beginning of your composition. So at zero seconds, then we'll go to point one on the left, create a new keyframe by selecting the stopwatch icon. We'll go down to two, select the stopwatch icon, three stopwatch icon, four stopwatch icon. Then we'll just move it a few seconds to the right or to the end of your composition. And we're just going to move these points in different directions. Because we've moved over and changed the position of all four of these points, that will add another keyframe in. And you can see that if we go into effects and four color gradients, you can see we've got a point here and we've got a point here. And that's representing all four of those different colors. So if we go back to the beginning and play this, you can see we've got this really nice subtle animated background. Of course, as well, you can animate the colors to change over time. So we'll go back to the very beginning. We'll go color one and we'll create new keyframe, color two, new keyframe, color three, new keyframe, color four, new keyframe. Then we'll go towards the end and we'll change all four of those colors. So we'll push this towards a warmer tone now. So we'll change that first one to a reddish pink. The second one can be red. The third one can be a darker purple and then color four. We'll lean that in towards the purples again. Press OK on that. Now, when we pull this back to the beginning, it's going to animate the position of those four points, but it's also going to change the color of them. Now, that looks really awesome. Of course, you can create multiple different keyframes over time. So every five seconds, you can change the colors. So it can begin with a color palette of blues and purples, then become pinks and purples. Then it can go yellows and greens and just animate this over time. And of course, you can also animate the blend over time. So if you wanted to start with those more harsh points, so let's pull this all the way down to five. We'll create a brand new keyframe at the beginning on blend. Then we'll go to the very end and we'll pull the blend all the way up to something really high, like 700, 800. We animate that, play that back. You can see those points 
So you can see we've got these circles, they slowly blend into each other to create this more gradient background look. And there you go. That is how you create a really simple but really effective animated color background inside of Adobe After Effects. This is really awesome if you wanted to add titles on top of it. And it's also really awesome for a load of different other applications. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this was helpful in some way or another. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See you there.